Verizon users, you've waited and your phone is finally in the house. How's it going guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneTalk.com and this Friday got a special thing in the office. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2, it's the Verizon version and it's available now in retail stores and online at VerizonWireless.com. How does it stack up in comparison to the other versions? We'll find out in the unboxing, but first, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game. We just turn around and give them to you at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you won't deal with rebates. You'll walk out the door paying the after rebate price. I hate paperwork. The holidays are stressful enough. At Best Buy Mobile, you won't deal with any of that garbage. Let's take a look. Note 2, Verizon. It's an unboxing. Let's go see if it lives up to the hype. All right, Verizon kids, your time is here. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 finally available at Verizon Wireless and online at verizonwireless.com. Packing the same specs as the international version, you've got a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core Exynos processor here, a 5.5-inch Super AMOLED HD display, an 8-megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording. You've got a 3,100 milliamp hour battery, 4G LTE connectivity, and a pretty nifty uh, white box here as well. Package contains the phone, an S Pen, a lithium ion battery, a wall USB charger, quick reference guide, and more. You're asking why are we doing the unboxing? Well, I love to do unboxings of the various carrier versions to look at the differences, and I want to see that crazy Verizon logo on the home button. So we're going to look at it together on camera. Here it is, Verizon's version, and it actually doesn't look as bad in real life as it did in the pictures. Actually, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of annoying to see that and see it on the back with a giant 4G LTE. Compare this to AT&T's logo, which is just the globe, and that's it. And you're like, this is a big, big, big honking Verizon logo. That is huge. That eats up the back along with 4G LTE. But you know what? It's a small cosmetic thing. You may love it, you may hate it, but at the end of the day, it's just nice to get a phone this big on your respective carrier with these many awesome, or this many awesome features, rather. Special thanks to Verizon, by the way, for giving us a review unit. And also, you know, just to continue on in the specs list, you've got the same Android 4.1 jelly bean out of the gate here. You've got Samsung's TouchWiz user interface, and it's already powered on. Wow. You know what? We're going to power it off and back on because it just wouldn't be an unboxing without that. And so we'll wait while that's powering off and see what comes in the box. You get the typical LTE SIM card. You get Verizon Start Guide stuff. And we'll pull this out and take a look right here. Start here, global support information, consumer information, consumer information. Call me inside. Key, product safety and warranty. And of course, a USB cable, which is in white. And an AC adapter module, which is also bigger than the typical one we've seen from some of the Samsung devices. I assume it's to power that giant 3,100 milliamp hour battery and get it charged up as quickly as possible, but a little bit bigger there. And that is all you get out of the box. So no real goodies in terms of accessories. You don't get any earbuds or anything like that, but still not bad considering, hey, it's a big device. And you're probably more excited about the device than you are about the actual accessories. But here it is, starting up now, Galaxy Note 2. Let's pretend like we started it up together, even though it was already turned on. And we'll see what the splash screen looks like with the Verizon logos. Verizon logos everywhere. Samsung powering up right now. Nice to finally see this on the nation's largest wireless carrier. And we'll put this box back up and we'll get into the Galaxy Note 2. So take a look at the design. No changes with the design here. Looks exactly the same as the international version and the other versions on the carrier. That's a huge freaking logo. Wow, and I uh, compare this to, let me see if I've got the T-Mobile version. I do not over here on my desk, but just to give you a comparison, much smaller logos. So if you're somebody that's kind of a cosmetic person, it may bother you, but other than that, no real biggie there with design. In apps, you get Amazon, Amazon Kindle, MP3, Audible, then you get what else out of the box? Mobile Hotspot, My Verizon Mobile, NFL Mobile. So the typical Verizon stuff here, Hotspot, My Verizon Mobile, which is actually a pretty useful application. You get NFL Mobile as well, so if you're into sports, into football, that could be a nice thing for you. Visual voicemail for $2.99 per month, VZ Navigator, and that's what you get out of the box on the Verizon side. Also, you're going to see the same pesky wireless network available notifications. So even when you turn this off, actually I'm going to take Notify Me, turn that off too. It's still there as an ongoing notification. So you can't get rid of that, unfortunately. What you do see here, though, is Jelly Bean over on a Verizon Samsung Galaxy device. So even though this is a Galaxy Note 2, still waiting for it on the Galaxy S3 on the Verizon side, you can get Jelly Bean out of the box at a retail store right now on Verizon Wireless. So nice to see this finally here in titanium gray, also available in white, and it comes with all the features like All Share Play, S Beam, and all that stuff you know and love. Verizon's 4G LTE connectivity also on this device, along with Samsung's keypad, which is a double up between a physical keypad and swipe. So phonedog.com, I should say physical virtual keypad, that doesn't make much sense, but you see what I'm saying there. Typical on-screen QWERTY plus swipe-like functionalities are there out of the gate. So 4G LTE 
on this device. It's taking a little bit of time to load PhoneDog.com for whatever reason, but here it comes. PhoneDog.com, Verizon guarantees 5 to 12 megabits per second on the download, 2 to 5 megabits per second on the upload, and there is our site right there. Quad-core processor works incredibly well on this device. Pinch to zoom, really responsive, and I'm excited to see how 4G LTE performs on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on Verizon Wireless. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of the Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 now in titanium gray. So we've got a white one and a gray one in the office, excluding, of course, the international version. Keep it locked on the site. Hit me up on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron on Twitter. Let me know what you think of this device. Let me know if it's too big, too small, too perfect, whatever the case may be. Let me know what you think on Twitter and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. It goes into the list of dog fights, so stay tuned for more coverage on phonedog.com. And as always, we'll see you next time.